Hello, I'm Dwayne Sig, and welcome to another issue of Your Encouragement Encounter. I want to use for a title today uh, an old R&B song titled by Marvin Gaye called Can I Get a Witness? A witness in the legal world is someone that comes into court and tells you uh, their testimony, gives evidence, and hopes that you believe what they're saying. A witness in the Christian world is someone that comes and tells you about the uh, power of Jesus Christ and what he's done and hopes that you believe them. If that's not your belief system, that's fine. I just want you to get the point. And so as it relates to going after your goals, accomplishing your dreams, being successful, a witness is someone that can tell you what they've done, what they've gone through and help you get to your goals because they've done it. They've done something like that and they want you to believe them so that you can go after your goals. I want to use two people that have been uh, witnesses uh, for me. The first one is my father. My father, uh, I tell people, is the greatest man I've ever known. And one of the things my father was a witness for that helped me, remember this, write this down, is just because that's where you started doesn't mean that's where you have to stay. My father wasn't a very educated man academically. He only had a seventh grade education, but my father would go on. At one point, he started his own business. He's purchased a couple of pieces of property. My father was an example to me that just because you started at one place that may have been uh, down doesn't mean you have to stay there. My father grew up in the 30s and 40s in a place called Thomasville, Georgia. So you can imagine the issues he had to deal with. And as I said, his witness of overcoming, of making it, of moving up, helped me deal with my particular uh, insecurity issues, my anger issues uh, as a teenager, helping me to see just because that's where you started doesn't mean that's where you have to stay. Another thing my father was witness to that helped me was just because you've had a setback doesn't mean you can't come back. My father had a gambling problem. He liked to bet, he liked to bet on horses and unfortunately he didn't win most of the time. And so you can imagine the complications that could uh, come from that. But when my father passed away, he had been clean, if you will, gamble free for about 25 years. And he didn't go to any 12 step. He didn't go to any rehab. He just decided one day that he had had enough and he stopped. Just because you've had some setbacks doesn't mean you can't come back. If the book didn't sell, if you cracked your note while you were singing, if you forgot your line, doesn't mean you can't come back. I've had books that didn't sell. I've had speaking engagements, one in particular that I remember, a room full of people and I went straight into the toilet. But doesn't mean I can't come back. I've come back from that. I've written books since then. I've had speaking engagements since then. And so just because you've had a setback doesn't mean you can't come back. The other witness is my wife. My wife had a massive stroke a few years ago, uh, about 10 years ago, and many of the doctors' uh, prognosis wasn't very good, questioning whether she would walk again and a, a lot of different things like that. And what my wife helped me see is that just because they say you can't doesn't mean that you won't. Uh, my wife has come back and done many things. She still has some uh, limitations in her uh, right arm, but she's she demonstrated that just because she has limits doesn't mean she is limited. And so she's gone on. She's back at school teaching now. She teaches at one of the local colleges near our home. And so she's overcome many different things. And the general rule in medicine is that what you don't get back in the first uh, six months, you'll never get back. And she's dispelled that over and over again, dispelled that rumor many times over and doing great things. And so she's been a, she's been a witness that just because they say you can't doesn't mean you won't. Just because they say you can't go to school doesn't mean you won't graduate. Just because, because they say you can't write that book doesn't mean you won't do it. So getting some witnesses that can encourage you, a witness that will help you see what you can do. You can get witnesses many different places. You can read about them. You can watch videos, videos like this. You can um, go and hear them speak so you can get witnesses in many places and three things a witness will do a witness will reveal some things will reveal what is possible if they did it it can be done if they did it then you can do it if they've done something incredible then you can do something incredible a witness will reveal some things not only that 
But a witness will help you resist. Resist the temptation to throw in the towel. Resist uh, quitting. There's a principle from the book I used to run my life that says, Be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you think not. A witness will show you that, yes, you can make it through. Not only that, but a witness will restore. A witness will help restore your joy, restore your excitement, restore your passion to get you back in the game, to get you excited again about your vision, about that book, about that business, about and you fill in the blank. So, can I get a witness? And what will end up happening is that you can go from seeing a witness to being a witness because just as you are looking at somebody, somebody's looking at you. Can I get a witness? That's going to do it for me. I trust that something was said that helped you in some way. You can follow me on Twitter at Encourage Man, Encourage Man. And would you help me help your friends? I know you know someone that could use this information. Would you please share this on your Facebook page? Would you put it on your Twitter post? And you can even send it as an e-blast on your email list, through your email list. If your organization is looking for a speaker for your next event and you'd like to contact me, I can be reached at drshig at gmail.com. That's drshig at gmail.com. Until next time, you be encouraged.